we are pleased to be joined by BOE member Senator George Runner, who's going to tell you a little bit more in detail about the Qualified Purchaser Program problems, and more importantly, what can be done to rectify this problem for small businesses and all Californians. So without further ado, Thanks, I'm happy to introduce BOE member, small business friend, Senator George Runner. Thank Welcome. you, John. I, I, I'm convinced that uh, the answer to California's economic crisis and problem is to get people back to work. Uh, that's how you're going to go ahead and create the revenue that California needs. Uh, unfortunately, what we see too often is these attempts to try to find new revenue. And the targets of this new revenue are oftentimes California's businesses, which only then makes it harder for them to hire people. In the past year, the, the uh, BOE has received calls from more than 175,000 qualified purchasers seeking help, trying to figure out the program. Again, it only shows you, instead of having to figure out how to keep their business going, instead of figuring out how to make something or sell something, they're on, their, they're on the phone to the tax people trying to figure out the newest form that they got. But so far, it's only realized about $56 million total out that, falling about 80% short of what it is that has been booked or attributed to what this program would, would actually raise. Of the 500,000 California small business owners registered under this program, 90% actually registered with zero tax paid, or owed at that point. Zero tax paid in regards to their use tax. I've surveyed qualified purchasers in my district. 67% that say the legislature should abolish the program, and quite frankly I agree, and there's, there's some uh, survey information about uh, that uh, survey that we did in the, in the packets. I believe a full repeal. Uh, it would be the best way to deal with this program, but quite frankly, that would take a, the, an act on the legislature's part. In the meantime, I'm working with my fellow board members to ensure a reasonable, a more reasonable implementation of this law. This week, we're going to be taking that up. And so there's going to be some recommendations that will greatly, I think, make this program more workable, less onerous on business. For instance, we're going to dis the, the recommendation is to discon discontinue the automatic registrations, automatically putting people in a position to where they are assumed to owe a tax. The second thing it's going to do is be allowing taxpayers to close their accounts if their gross receipts drop below $100,000 uh, for any two years. Again, once you were in this program, you couldn't get out of this program. Automatic deregistration of taxpayers and filing zero returns for uh, will, will greatly I think uh, help make this program a bit better. Ultimately, I think we have got to address the $100,000 threshold, which is way too low, and uh, other issues to make this program and evaluate whether or not this program should even go on to the future.